In this video we're going to create the texture for our flying robot. I started by opening up my UV map and I put a gray layer in the background because it will kind of resemble the texture I'm going to be using. I've also made the lines red instead of black so I can see it easily against the gray content. I did that by locking the transparency of the UV and then going to my swatches choosing a red and Option Delete on the Mac or Alt Delete on a PC. I'm going to lock that down on the top of the layer window. Now I'm going to use the riveted plate that I've provided for this background. I'll select it, copy it, and paste it into my UV map. Now it's a matter of just scaling it down and patterning it the way I want. Once I've covered the entire surface with the design pattern I want, we'll come back and I'll start to colorize it. With the texture, I scaled it down, I repeated it, basically made a pattern in it, and I placed it over any of the components from the model with the exception of the eyeball. Now I'll create the eyeball. With a new layer, I'll hit M on the keyboard, and I'll choose the elliptical marquee, holding down the Option Shift, or Alt Shift if you're on a PC. I'll drag the shape I need to cover the eyeball surface. Putting white on my toolbar, I'll fill it. And now I'm going to make a pupil. Adding another layer. Again, the marquee, holding Option or Alt Shift to drag the shape. I'll fill it with the blue I've chosen and I'll put an inner glow on that. And I'll make it a darker blue or black. And I'll play with the size so it's just around the circumference of the circle shape. And now I'm going to put the black pupil in the middle. holding down Option Shift with the elliptical marquee, hitting D on the keyboard to go to default black and white. I can use Alt or Option Delete to fill it. Now I've turned off my UV map so I can see this more clearly. Keeping the selection, I'll hit M on the keyboard, right click and choose Feather, and I'll put a feather of 5 on. I'm going to transform the selection to make it smaller, right-clicking, Transform Selection, and now I'll fill it with white, hitting Command-S to save. Now I'm going to put an inner glow on the actual white of the eye. Selecting the layer, I'll go to FX, and I'll choose Inner Glow, and I'll change the color, maybe to an orange-yellow. And I'll play with the size a bit. I'll click OK. Now I'm going to turn my UV map on so I can see where the geometry needs to be covered. And I'm going to add a number of layers to put some designs on this. At this point it gets pretty subjective what kind of colors and shapes you want to use. One thing you will need to do though is once you start to introduce the colors you want, you'll need to use your blend modes. In my layer window, after I've introduced the color, I'll click on Normal and I'll drag down the list to look for something that might suit what I'd like to do. And that's what I would do with the patterning and design of the rest of this. If we look at the finished product again, something like this is perfectly fine. I need to remember to turn off the UV map when I'm ready to apply it to Maya and save it so that when I attach it to Maya, the UV map is not visible. 